it's Trevor with Real Nifty Vintage and this video has been a long time coming. So <laughs> I went to the auction like, I don't know, three weeks ago and I'm just now getting to the haul video. So my counter has literally looked like I'm about to show you for three weeks. And that tells you a lot about how I live with vintage stuff around here. It's my life basically. All right, so pretty much everything here is Occupy Japan and I'm really, excited about it. So right here in the center of the, the the thing, here's what I paid. I paid $61.50. And there's, these are the little tickets that they write out for you as they're going along uh, in the auction. So half the time you have no idea what this means, but strawberries and dishes. Well, uh, I've gotten mm, those strawberries. Oh, and these strawberries. So it's hard to know but I just average it all out. So it's $61 and 56 cents, 50, you know, about $62 for all of this. Okay, I'm not going to spotlight every single thing, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. So like I said, it's all occupied Japan. And I've had a few people ask me specifically, what does that mean? Tell me about occupied Japan. Well, it's made in Japan and it dates it to about 1945 to 1952 when the U.S. occupied Japan. And so the export laws at that point was saying that we need to, to write on the bottom here, occupied Japan, instead of just made in Japan. So you can kind of date things uh, with the Japan stamps. I've, I've touched on this before, but so we've got here made in Occupy Japan. Now before Occupy Japan, you're gonna see made in Japan, it'll say that. And then after made in Occupy Japan, you'll start to see just Japan. You know, the word Japan, it could be written on the porcelain like this in a stamp form, or it could be in a paper label or a foil label. And then after after that, then you start getting into other countries like Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, all of those. So that they, they change as we have different manufacturers making things like this. But let's start over here. So we've got this wonderful painted plate and I like it. There's, there's like these cherry blossoms or I don't know what sort of flower that's going to be, but it's beautiful, it's hand painted and it's made in occupied Japan. I'm not gonna keep saying that, but there you go. That's Occupy Japan for you. So this was all from a collector and you can see that there's like little paper labels written on here. They mean something. They're, these, were, these, these were probably cataloged, but so we've got this wonderful plate here. And I'm also not going to make it a point to say how much I think everything will sell for because eh, I could probably just get lost in all of that. Um, so, uh, I know that would be a benefit to some people. I'll I'll try as I get to different things, but a lot of this is around the eight to twelve dollar mark. I'll say whenever we fall out of that, uh, because there are some exceptions. Now these are interesting. They are also occupied Japan, and it's strange because they're metal. You don't usually think of that, but of course, lots of things were made, not just ceramic stuff, out of Japan, and it's written. Is it right there? I can't even read that. I thought it was, I thought it said it right there. I know, here, isn't that a wonderful bowl? This is a reticulated bowl, the slices in it. And there you go, that's much easier to read. Made in Occupy Japan with like the little sun design. So I thought that was a clever little set. And this is an example, I would probably think it would go for more, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I would sell it as a set like this, but. I think this whole combination here is worth about $20, just like that. We've got like this little horse planter, little mini planter. I think that's kind of cute. Oh, it says the something or others. I guess that's their name. Hmm. Well, you could probably get that off with a little, there's a trick. If it's like Sharpie, you could use a wipe off marker and the chemicals in a wipe off marker will actually relax that permanent marker. This is a wonderful like little bone china set. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And they're all, of course, what I said. Occupied Japan. <laughs> I, I can't help but not say it sometimes. Uh, this is a little strange, but it's a goose. 
it's a goose out of that era. You normally think of geese in the 80s, but here we got one. And then, ooh, a little boxer boy. Isn't that fun? A little figurine. We've got that one. These are both matches. They're identical little donkeys. So we've got those. Obviously, you're going to have different stamps depending on the manufacturers. There's all different manufacturers of these things. Oh, that one, there's, there's, a, there's a, see it, the problem right there? A, a crack. A crack. This is one of my favorites, this mermaid. I'll cover up her bits. So it's a mermaid, and you don't usually see mermaid items, old mermaid items, so I really like it for that. This one will sell for more. It'll sell for at least 15, probably $20 for this one without even looking it up. There, it could do better. I haven't done the market on certain themes do better than others. And then we've got like this little gal. That's really pretty. I actually have this one over in my curio cabinet. So this would be a second, the second one of it. I'm not sure maybe I want to keep this one or maybe I want to sell both. I don't know. I have trouble sometimes. <laughs> I love the little sailboat. And then there are a couple little of these little planners too with the dogs on them. That's a dog. That's a bunny. More of these. Donkeys pulling the carts. More of those. So there's that one and this one. And then there's like a duck back here. And this kind of Chinese figure with the elephant on top. It's like a little trinket box like that. And then there are a lot of these little vases. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so we've got those. They sort of have a, a 1900 kind of look to them. They're sort of throwback in that way. Made to look older. Hand painted, that one says, hand painted. Oh, this one's cute, little dogs on it. That's nice with the green. I like these strawberries a lot. They're like little, little jam jars. That's a fun design. That's Rosetti, Chicago. So that would have been an imported item by the Rosetti company out of Chicago. Here's some metal, some cool metal shakers. Let's see, we have a boy and a rabbit. This is neat. This is like some lacquer pieces. So we've got, ooh, my hands are getting smudged up with something. Oh, probably those. Yep. Uh, and they have these little ashtrays, individual ashtrays in there. So those are cool. Like that set. And then we have this metal leaf. I'm trying to get, let's see. Better. <laughs> and then that's some brown, uh, some redware. So that's nice. This is a cool pin cushion. It has these little children all around it. One is missing a head. So we just have to ignore that. Uh, Leah, well, lots of like these little things here. You can see, I'll just kind of pan and you can look. Little carts, little baskets. That's actually like a dresser, which is very interesting. A couple dogs on a shoe are right there. And then this is a cool set because it's all like tomatoes. So we have a little mustard jar, salt and the pepper, and then we have a slightly different salt and the pepper. So. I think these two would go together and then this set here might go together. Um, yeah, these would probably go for about $12 as a set. These over here for probably about $12 for a set. And then souvenir of Murphy's Borough, Arkansas, little boot. This is a cool club, like a club ashtray some glass. These are cool. Now, at first glance, you're like, oh, well, they're just clear. What's interesting about these is the screw tops. These are screw tops and they're glass. So it's a glass top. You might originally think it's going to be plastic, but it's glass screw top. Very different. These are adorable. They look like little skunks, like little skunk forms, but they're brown. So they're kind of squirrel looking. This sort of looks like a Bavarian kind of a piece in a way, but it's a little vase. And it's, of course it's not, it's Occupy Japan like everything else. 
Here's another metal piece. I like that one a lot. That has some interesting lines to it. And this one, it's hard to find. It's on here somewhere, and I don't remember where it's written. But for sure it says occupied. Ah, it's right under this lip here. I don't think that's even going to want to focus. Oh, it is. This camera is amazing. So it's written right there. It says made in occupied Japan. And because of the slices, half the words are missing. But that's what it says. So that's pretty cool. Now, here in the center, you'll see a couple hula girls. These are very popular and they'll do really well. Uh, so I think each of those will go for at least $25, $30. So you're looking at probably closer to $50 or $60 for the set of those, the little hula dancers. I think this is a fish tank piece, like an aquarium piece. So that's neat. This right here is very unique. You see that? So yeah, it's like this, what would, what, I mean, wartime sort of gas, atomic, what do they call that? You know, when the alarms go off. I'm I'm drawing a blank at what you'd call all this, but yeah, it reminds me of like, I don't know, movie, like a movie or something where you'd have a whole town that is gassed out and they pretty much perish as they were living. Okay, well, we'll continue. This is chalkware and it's of this boy. And then we've got this, the oranges. These are a pair of little things. Uh, these little Toby type mugs or handled cups. This is different. Isn't that cute? Uh, that would probably do like $12. This is really interesting too with the cat. Cat stuff does well. It has like a horseshoe or a magnet looking thing on it. And then up front here, we've got this really big bird. I'm trying to make sure I didn't gloss over anything specific. So I went through most of the ceramic. And then actually these are composite. So these are composite coasters. So I'll show you those. It's like a pressed, pressed paper. So we've got the flowers and there's like little birds on here too. It's really pretty. And this is varnished or lacquered, and that's what gives it that gloss. And it is also considered alcohol proof. And they should say that. Yeah, they do. So it says alcohol proof made in occupied Japan. So those are neat. And we have a set of them. And here I've sold different kind of variations of these alcohol proof things different trays and stuff like that. They're, they're pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I showed you those little ash trays. Uh, these are moriage little cups with dragons on them. I guess you could call them dragon wear. Little random cups. Whoa, I knocked over the lady. Does that go with that? I don't know, I don't think so. Knocked over your sister. Oh yeah, these are like little leaves. So they're all sort of different, aren't they? That's cool. So there's like three of them. And then I've got a couple of these little pairs. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, there are a lot of really cool made in occupied Japan pieces here. And I should do really well with them considering I only spent about $61 at the auction. I'm really happy about that. I mean, it's sort of like one of those things where you're in the moment and I will also say that the auction had other things but it mostly had Occupy Japan figurines that I was interested in. So when you're there and that's what you have and that's what you're presented with, you sort of have to run with it because that's the opportunity that you're given. So after a while, you're just sort of like, oh, I've seen enough, I bought enough. But looking back, you know, you're like, always. Th I always think, oh, I could have gotten more <laughs> because, you know, they're cool, they're old. But looking at it in one conglomerate, countertop full, you think, oh, oh my, that's a lot of one thing, but that's okay. I think I did well. I've got a lot of cool pieces here, some older pieces, and I'm really excited about it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.